the words of a poem go like this. Every child is born one more redeemer. In each new heart is a spark divine. One more voice for compassion, one more holy sign, one more chance to restore and reveal and receive. This is our faith, this we believe. Every child that is born brings one more Redeemer into the world. My homily this evening, inspired by the story of Jesus' birth, is called Baby Theology. I decided not to print that title in the service or advertise it as, as such. Maybe that decision was wise or maybe it was unwise. One of the neat things about being a minister is that we are sometimes called upon to bless babies. How cool is that? It's not just cool, it's in my job description. I'm reminded of one of my favorite authors, Marilyn Robinson, who wrote, not that you have to be a minister to confer a blessing, you're simply much more likely to find yourself in that position. It's a thing people expect of you. <laughs> and from time to time in our service, every so often when we have a baby of a certain age come into the congregation, we set aside a part of the service for blessing the child. In our church tradition, we call this a child dedication. I remember when I did my first child dedication so many years ago. The family was up there with the baby, and I had said my words, and we'd given the baby a rose. And then came this moment that was completely unscripted. The mother leaned in and went to hand the baby to me. At least that's how I remember it. And I came to this sudden realization in that moment that I had never held a baby before. <laughs> and I didn't want to be like, no, don't, don't hand me the baby. And so awkwardly, I accepted the baby. And then as if by instinct, I went, I don't know what possessed me, but I went like this. <laughs> and someone in the audience said, the Lion King, and everybody cracked up. <laughs> what are we doing when we dedicate a child? Not just what does the ritual mean, but what are we doing of course, I have an easy time saying what we're not doing. For example, in my own theology, I do not believe that we are washing away some original sin the baby is born with. That's not my theology. I don't think that we're moving the child from one category to another, from unblessed to blessed, from damned to saved. I'm a universalist, I can't go for cosmically separating people into categories like that. And when we do a child dedication, I don't think we're signing up the child for future commitments. Because I believe that when the child gets older, they will decide for themselves what they want to dedicate their own life to. So is dedication primarily for the parents? and the family, and the godparents, if there are any, and the, the church community, the whole church community? Is it all about just dedicating ourselves to the care and nurturance of this child, including its spiritual and ethical development? Is it purely directed at all of those people who form this beautiful constellation of care around this treasured new person? Or is there also something else that happens, something harder to describe? Somehow, somehow in a blessing, both the blessee and the blesser are changed, altered, transformed. And the truth is, it seems to me, even as we dedicate ourselves to the child, 
we also carry expectations of a sort. It isn't just that the baby is counting on us, but somehow in that moment of blessing and bless or mix up, we find ourselves counting on that baby too. It's difficult to describe. We're not counting on the baby to bring world peace or cure diabetes or win that track scholarship. But we're counting on that baby somehow, maybe just to be fully who they are. That's the best I'm able to describe it. My friends Rob and Jan are ministers. When they find themselves being asked to bless a baby, here is what they say. Each time they bless a child, they say, Every child is born, one more redeemer. Every child is born, one more redeemer. Redeemer, that's a fancy churchy word. It means, it means a person who's come to save the world, but a particular kind of saving. A saving through transformation into who or what we are truly meant to be. Redeemer is a person who's come to save the world by transforming it and us into what we are truly meant to become. It's an awful lot of responsibility to give to a baby. So what is it that my friends Rob and Jan meant when they say, every child is born one more redeemer? What is that redeeming grace we sing about when we sing Silent Night? I think what they mean, I'm pretty sure that what they mean is the kind of redemption that happens in the world when people are shown how to love more expansively. I think they meant the kind of redemption that happens in the world when we treat the stranger as our neighbor and our neighbor as ourselves. I think they mean the kind of redemption that happens in the world when people are taught to make peace and inspired by heroic acts of generosity and when the hatred and injustice and ignorance that harms and divides the human family is corrected and overwhelmed. The message of Unitarian Universalism is not that someday a baby will be born who will fix everything wrong with the world for us. It's a lot to expect of a baby. No, the message of Unitarian Universalism is that all of us, each and every one of us, has a bit of that Redeemer inside of us. Our message is that our lives may be lived in such a way that we bring a bit more redemptive love, redemptive courage, and redemptive grace into the world. As a popular reading for this season goes, each night a child is born is a holy night, a time for singing, a time for wondering, a time for worshiping. Each child is born, one more redeemer. I'm not saying that that theology is what exactly went through my head that led me to so instinctually thrust that child in the air, Lion King style, for the congregation to behold. Behold your redeemer. But what if? What if we were to truly come to know our body as the home of God, as Rebecca Parker says? As the home of God's fiercest compassion, tenderest mercies, transformational justice and redemptive grace. What then? What then? Every child is born one more redeemer. In each new heart is a spark divine. One more voice for compassion, one more holy sign, one more chance to restore and reveal and receive. This our faith, this we believe. Every child that is born brings one more redeemer to this world. So it be, may it be so.